In this After Effects tutorial, we're going to talk about everything you need to know about glow effects. Hey, what's going on internet? This is Josh Noel from Sunduck Film. So it's the first tutorial of the week and we're going to talk about everything you need to know about creating awesome glow settings. This is going to be great for, you know, intros or titles or pretty much anything that you want to have like the cinematic glow effect to. So I broke this down into three different parts so we can focus on each effect one at a time. The first effect we're going to take a look at right now is actually just creating the glow effect and how to build layers with the glow effect to make it really stand out for your logos or your titles. So to be more clear, this tutorial is going to be focused on creating just the glow effect and the techniques behind it. I did get carried away with creating this entire composition. That's because I record this part of the tutorial after I go on camera and record it. And I got kind of carried away tonight and set up an entire scene. If you like the example I have here, go ahead and check our links in the video description. We have several tutorials that are similar to this that will allow you to create this exact product. Now, of course, if you need more help creating this awesome glow effect with more of a neon sign feel to it, I created a Skillshare course several months ago on this example right here. If you're interested in creating this, go ahead and check our link in the video description. It'll take you right over to Skillshare. You'll also get two free months of Skillshare if you sign up through that link. So once you have your title in here, we'll go up to Effect Perspective, and we're going to add a Drop Shadow Effect. We're not going to glow right away. And what we're going to do for Shadow Color is we're going to come here and we're going to change it to the color that we want to glow. So we'll do blue. Click OK. Set the distance down to zero and increase the softness to about 20. And this creates just a little bit of a glow around it. And we can even lower the opacity by a touch as well. And then what we're going to do is go to Edit, Duplicate. And from here, we'll increase the softness to about 80. And this will create even a larger outer rim. And this is going to make a huge difference in our glow effect. Now we'll go to Effect, Stylize, Glow. And right now this looks really nice, but here's the thing, it's glowing white around the edges. And if we change the color A to our blue color that we were using, it's still going to be white. It doesn't actually change the color. And the reason why it's still glowing white is because it's glowing the color of your object, your title, which our title is white. If we want to be able to glow blue, what we're going to do is come here to glow colors, where it says original colors, set it to A and B colors. And what I like to do here is go to color looping and set this to sawtooth B greater than A. And now we have the opportunity to you know, glow the color that we want. And we can come here and increase the glow intensity just by a little bit to maybe 2.5 ish. And then you know, now we're looking good, but this is still pretty amateur. So we'll duplicate our glow effect. So we have a duplicated copy right here. And we'll come here and we'll increase the radius to about 100 or so. And this is going to make a huge difference. So before and after, that looks pretty cool. Maybe increase the threshold just by a little bit to maybe 75%. So 75% threshold and 150 glow radius is going to make a huge difference in what we're doing. I still don't like it. So what I'm going to do here is go to Effect, Stylize, and we're just going to add a glow. And this will pump it up dramatically. And we're not going to touch any settings because I really like what we got going on here. So mostly this looks really nice, but we can add some more detail to this. What I'm going to do here is duplicate our layer. And I'll come here to the bottom layer and we'll delete all of our effects. And then I'm going to go to Effect, Blur and Sharpen, and I'm going to add CC Radial Fast Blur. And this is going to create streaks coming out from our title, and we can come here and increase this to maybe about 70-ish, maybe 78 to be exact. And if you want, you don't have to do this, but we'll do it anyway. We'll add a keyframe for center, and we can move this over to the left side. Go forward in time to say 5 seconds or 6 seconds, depending on how long your animation is going to be. Move it on, you know, move it over to the other side. So now you'll have this slight animation like this, and it just looks really dynamic. You know, it's really up to you. You don't have to animate that, but adding these streaks really make this thing pop even more. So what we're going to talk about next is more about creating a scene or an environment for your glow effect. And we're going to create a reflection off the floor to really make our scene come together. And there's one thing that you can utilize when you're using a glow effect, and that's creating a floor, a nice little reflection down here. So that's what we're going to do right now. We'll grab both of our titles here and we'll go to layer pre-compose and we can call it, you know, title glow and move on. So there's one thing you're going to need is a texture or some sort of background. So you can go to a search engine and find a texture and download it and bring it into After Effects. So this is a nice little texture and I can just drag this right into our composition right in here underneath our title glow. It doesn't really matter. We place it at the moment. And then what we can do here is make this a 3D layer. If you can't make it a 3D layer, just toggle switch the modes down here and you can make a 3D layer. And what we can do here is hit R on our keyboard for rotation. Come here to the X rotation and you know we can set this down to about negative 85 degrees or so. 
we'll hit S on our keyboard for scale. We might need to scale it up by a little bit and then hit P on your keyboard for position and bring this down to just right, you know, underneath your composition like that. And we need to set this up for success. So first things first, we're going to effect color correction and we're going to add tint. Great. Go to effect color correction and add curves. And we'll come here and we'll just, you know, brighten this up by a little bit. And this is something I highly suggest doing. I'll show you why in a second. So make sure your background or your floor is nice and bright. So what we'll do here when we're done, go to layer pre-compose. We'll call it floor and move all attributes into new composition. Click OK. And now what we'll do is we'll turn this floor off real quick and we will duplicate our title here. Come here to the bottom layer, go to layer transform and click on flip vertically vertical excuse me and we'll bring this down you know just right underneath our you know title there great now we'll go to layer new adjustment layer make sure this adjustment layer is on top of the text layer that we just did the flip vertical and also the floor layer and then from here make sure the adjustment layer is selected go to effect blur and sharpen and we're going to add a compound blur where the blur layer set set this to floor and now we're starting to see that glow there. Check on invert blur. And then we can increase the maximum blur here. You can see what we're doing. And then let's go back into the floor layer. Let me show you what I was talking about the curve. So maybe we can adjust this, be a little bit darker, not as bright. And we'll go back into our main comp. And you see that plays a big part into, you know, how it's going to impact the actual, you know, reflectiveness. So we'll kind of keep that up and find the right value for our comp. So I'll keep the maximum blur around 26 or 27 for this. And boom, now we have a nice glow there on the floor and that looks great. So now we have a good basis for our glow effect, but now I want to talk about actually working in some more practical effects with our glow effect to make it seem a little bit more, you know, realistic as far as flickering and being able to change the color goes. So this glow is starting to look really good, but let's say we want to go back and have some more control over our title here to create a little bit more variation so we're just not creating a glow effect. Let's go back into our title composition here where we have our two titles and let's just duplicate one of the titles here at the bottom. Come here to the bottom layer and just delete the CC radial fast blur. And from here what we'll do is make sure the layer is selected and we can change this to say like a dark layer, maybe like a dark gray. Click OK. We'll come here to the top layer where we have all these glow effects in here. And what we'll do is we'll open up the title here and we'll come here to animate and we're going to add opacity. And from here we can lower down the opacity to 0%. And what we'll do here is open up range selector 1 and we'll increase the offset to 100%. And then we'll add a keyframe for offset. We'll move forward in time by a little bit and we can bring the offset down by a touch. Move forward a little bit, bring it back up. And then we'll kind of just do this all the way throughout the animation here, just so we have, you know, that level of control. And now what we're doing is creating a nice little flicker in our title. And that looks pretty cool. And we have that back title, you know, to back it up just like that. So, you know, it's coming together. And what we can do here also is open the advanced tab and we can set it on randomized order where it's set to off, we set it to on. And now it will, you know, be a little bit more random. And if you don't like, you know, what's being flickered, come here to random seed and you can just, you know, change what's being flickered, right? So, you know, pretty cool deal. And if you want, we can also all click the stopwatch for random seed, type in wiggle, open parenthesis, one comma, say 30, close parenthesis. Now we have a pretty intense flicker effect in here and that looks pretty cool. And now you should have something similar to this and you don't even have to have that random seed with that expression in there if you don't want all that flicker but you have some level of control with either the offset keyframes or with the actual wiggle expression so it's really up to you how you want to proceed with this effect and with a little bit of color correction you can change the direction of how your glow looks so those are my three techniques when creating a glow effect or a glow scene similar to what we just did. So I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial and were able to take away a handful of techniques from this video. If you did enjoy our video, be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel, Sunduck Film. We post two post-production tutorials every week right here on the channel. You can also hit me up on my social media networks. Those links are in the video description and always be creating.